the public isn't, you know, they read newspapers, they see television, they watch. They don't know if it's true or false because they're not involved. I'm involved. I've been involved with this stuff all my life. But President involved. Trump's political speech can be shockingly combative and rambling. So much so that some opponents are convinced that his unpolished style is actually a shrewd form of propaganda. Vice News spoke to Terence Moran, a longtime scholar of political speech, to get an expert opinion. This is nobody I have more respect for. When you see the current president communicating, what do you see in that that is unique? And do you see sort of patterns? Well, no, I think he's very effective. He, uh, he, he's learned that hyperbole works. The best, the brightest, uh, the strongest. Uh, Ronald Reagan used it brilliantly in his campaigns. Uh, Barack Obama did it. The audacity of hope or any of that had no meaning. It's just that Trump does it so well. Well, let's take a look at, at, at Donald Trump in action. And the crime and the gangs and the drugs that have stolen too many lives and robbed our country. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now. Scripted speech, but very much in the cadence and the delivery that one would expect from Donald Trump. What do you make of that? No different from uh, most advertising based on fear. My view of propaganda was not a thing, but a process. For example, with advertising, it's not a particular ad that you need to examine as propaganda, but the totality of the environment of advertising and marketing in a culture. It's been around in America from the beginning. At the current rate, the crimes of violence in America will double by 1972. I pledge to you, the wave of crime is not going to be the wave of the future in America. All right, so we're going to watch Donald Trump talking to the very friendly Fox News about the myth, uh, the fake news of three million illegals uh, voting in the election. Is there any validity to the criticism of you if you say, for example, that there are three million illegal aliens who voted and then you don't have the data to back it up? Some people are going to say that's irresponsible for a president to say that. Right. The data has to show that three million illegals look, voted. Forget that. Forget all of that. Just take a look at the registration and we're going to do it. And I'm going to set up a commission. What Trump did there the was president. take over the conversation and he keeps saying things. If you repeat something over and over and over again, people come to you know, accept it. What he does is doesn't become defensive at all. He attacks. Is attacking the media an effective strategy? I don't think it's a strategy with him. I think that's what he is. It's us against them. Believe me, the wall is getting designed right now. A lot of people say, oh, oh, Trump was only kidding with the wall. I wasn't kidding, I don't kid. No, I don't kid. I don't kid about things like that, I can tell you. No, we will have a wall. It will be a great wall. Believe me, but people seem to believe him. What do you make of that? Uh, uh, in a complex world, it's nice to have someone promising you solutions. My question to somebody who's been studying this for a long time is, how does one counteract it? It's called bullshit and the art of crap detecting. And that was the essence of what we ought to be doing. 